Every Indian today is aware of Subhash Chandra Bose's courageous leadership and out of the box approach during India's freedom struggle. But did you know that Netaji, as he was lovingly known to his followers, was a master of disguises and used this potent skill to fool the British and escape their clutches? Netaji had been imprisoned in Calcutta in July 1940 and was due to appear before the British court on January 26, 1941. He wanted to enlist Germany's help in India's freedom struggle. But this was impossible sitting in a Calcutta prison. So, he had to plan. Netaji starts a fast until death in prison. His health fails and the British government is forced to grant him bail. On December 5th, they move him to his house where they place him under vigilant house arrest with men from the Bengal CID patrolling the Bose residence. They plant agents inside the house and even secretly use some of his relatives for information on Netaji. Netaji starts growing a beard and secretly sends a telegram to his forward bloc party leader Mia Akbar Shah, who is at the northwest frontier province, which is in modern-day Pakistan, along the Afghan border. The telegram reads, Reach Calcutta, Bose. Netaji also sends for his nephew Shishir and asks him a strange question. How well can you drive, Shishir? The 20-year-old Shishir has never even driven to the outskirts of Calcutta. Mia Akbar Shah boards a night train from Peshawar and arrives in Calcutta. He takes up a hotel room and visits Netaji the next day. Netaji tells him, I intend to go abroad through the tribal territories of Kabul, but you have done this before, so help me. Akbar advises Netaji to travel to Peshawar by train. Netaji also informs him that he intends to wear his black shirwani and disguise himself as a Muslim insurance agent. Akbar suggests a name, Ziauddin. Over the next few days, Shishir and Akbar buy a brown long coat, broad pyjamas and a black fez type coat. Shishir also gets a set of visiting cards printed for insurance agent Muhammad Ziauddin. Netaji tells his comrades, It is time to rise and do something for the freedom of our motherland. And this is what the trio plan. Netaji would openly announce that he is retiring to the Rishra garden house of Shishir's father in order to convalesce. Once there, Shishir would drive him secretly to Burdwan or Asansol. But they soon realize this plan has flaws. If Netaji announces he's moving, this would immediately raise the suspicion of the British and the Bengal CID would be extra alert. The plan is aborted. Back to square one. It is soon clear to the men that the best approach would be to escape from Calcutta from the very house Netaji is currently under house arrest in. Akbar leaves Calcutta and returns to the northwest frontier province. Netaji makes an announcement saying he is going into seclusion within the house when he will not meet anyone for the next few days. The Bengal CID don't make too much of this, but another problem presents itself. Netaji's brother's pet Alsatian. The dog roams free in the compound at night to keep the ground safe. If it is suddenly chained, this will rouse suspicion. But luckily for Netaji and Shishir, it attacks a visitor and is chained after that. On 17th January 1941, Netaji finally decides to go through with the plan. In the dead of the cold Calcutta winter night, he waits in disguise with Shishir and a cousin. Suddenly they hear a loud clearing of the throat from the top floor of the house. Shishir checks his watch. The clock says 1.35. One of the other cousins has played his part. The three men tiptoe around the back of the big house to Shishir's car. It's a full moon night, so the trio are careful not to cast any shadows. The cousin places Netaji's luggage on the front passenger seat and proceeds to open the gate. Netaji sits in the back but doesn't shut the door. 
Shishir sits in the driver's seat. The cousin opens the gate and on a very faint count of three, Netaji and Shishir both close their doors at the same time, shattering the calm of the night. Netaji slides under the back seat. Shishir starts the car and whizzes past the unsuspecting Bengal CID men, who only see Shishir driving alone. Netaji and Shishir drive off in the wrong direction, avoiding the more convenient Willingdon Bridge since it has a toll station. They take the Howrah Bridge instead. Ultimately, they get on the Grand Trunk Road and are only relieved once they cross the French post at Chandarnagor. They drive through the night to reach Barari, which is near Dhanbad, early next morning. Shishir hides Netaji at his brother's house there all day. Once night falls, Shishir, his brother and his sister-in-law drop their uncle off at the train station in nearby Gomo. Back in Calcutta, the next morning it is discovered that Netaji has disappeared. Rumours start flying in all directions. The rumours keep getting wilder till a week later, All India Radio announces that Netaji has been arrested in Dhanbad. Indians everywhere are distraught. Their hero's brilliant escape plan foiled. Netaji's family is heartbroken that all their efforts were in vain. But the Associated Press of India contradicts the All India Radio report and says no such arrest happened. The people of the nation are now confused. But at least there is hope again. So what really happened to Netaji? After Shishir and his family dropped their uncle off at the Gomo train station, he did get on the Delhi Kalka mail, disguised as the insurance agent Mohammad Ziauddin. On January 19th, Mia Akbar Shah was waiting at the Peshawar cantonment station along with two other forward block members, Mohammad Shah and Bhagat Ram Talwar, to welcome their friend Ziauddin. Their Tongawala recommended a good Muslim hotel for the tired insurance agent. So Ziauddin checked into the hotel. Later, he was shifted to the house of Abad Khan, who was a trusted friend of Akbar's. Back in Calcutta, there is still no solid news of Netaji. People start spinning their own theories as to his whereabouts. The British Central Intelligence is livid with the Bengal CID and take away the Bose file, as the case is called, from them and give it to the Punjab CID. Arjun knew that he had sentenced himself to 12 years of exile. He asked the Brahmin to guide him the way to the forest. Ganesha. Different people see God differently. Narayan. What dies is always reborn. <laughs> 